YouTube, what's up? Leg day. I'm back in Sac Town. Drops live. 3SB.co if you want them hoochies. Get fitted. A nice French Terry. Easy training short. 5 inch inseam. I'm about 210, 5'9, 5'10. And I'm wearing 2XL for a little bit baggy. I got tights underneath if you want them extra hooched up. I can fit in an XL pretty good. Um, we're going to try to squat heavy double or triple. Deadlift something kind of mediocre for some reps. Then probably just finish up on some machines. So another leg day. Diet's still going all right. I'm locked in. I went grocery shopping yesterday. Vibes are good. Training typically, obviously, I've been traveling, and, and I'm coming off like a deadlift-only block, so things are a little different for me. Um, I'm just mentally not stoked on lower body. So I put a lot more of my mental effort and having more fun doing um, upper body, push and pull. The biggest question when people talk about cutting is how do they train? Um, how do they maintain everything? And the simple answer is you want to train the exact same as when you were bulking or in a strength block. Um, as much in frequency, Intensity and volume as you can maintain, the better off you're going to be to maintain that muscle or retain that muscle. Um, for me, on my lower body stuff, when I'm not on like a full program, I try to keep it real simple. Um, especially right now since I backed um, back from training where we did some like leg stuff. Where I'm hitting leg press and other things, but I didn't get a chance to squat. I don't really like to push myself when I'm traveling, different beds, sleep, rest, etc. Not worth like the risk of locking up my back. Um, so I haven't squatted in like 10 days. And any amount of break you take, whether it's one week, two weeks, months off of training, people often come back and handle very lightweight and starts doing like sets of 20. Uh, that's not gonna get you there. I would handle sets of uh, one to three, RPE seven to eight. So you're handling a pretty heavy top single for that day. Um, and slowly progress that session to session, week to week. So that's probably what I'll do with these. I haven't deadlifted over 500 in two months probably. So we'll handle a decent single on that and then probably back down, same with squats. I'll take this decent single, back down set of three, nice and clean, uh, and then do the same with deadlifts on my heavier day, which is actually uh, backwards. We're later in the week. It's Thursday now, but uh, it's just how the schedule laid out. Um, and then over time, that top single will go up and the top triple will go up, and on my other days, I'll be handling sets of five to eight. Simplest program you ever see. Uh, KaizenTraining.com, we have a free template called um, the Kaizen Infinite Offseason, and it's loosely what I do for everything when I'm in the off season. Then I'll, I'll bust accessories a little bit harder because I'm dieting, because I want to retain some of this muscle. So maybe some lunges today. It's a little chilly out. My joints ache a little bit. I can feel the rain coming in my bones. Um, but we'll do hit some leg extensions, leg curls, maybe some GHR for the booty. I'll show you guys uh, uh, one of my favorite booty movements maybe later. Um, and then cardio and we're out of here, man. Back to lunch. Got to go cook up. I found these. Shout out Trader Joe's if y'all want to sponsor me. I found these three fat, 20 protein, chicken hog this is chicken sausage and typically sausage is really fatty um, but three fats of 20 protein for one wiener is pretty good programming it like progression everyone's just like a regurgitator on the internet and they don't know what the hell they're talking about so people are like well how do you program they'll say like well you want to progressively overload well, what the fuck does that mean and how do you do it right so obviously it means that we don't want to lift the exact same amount of weight the exact same amount of reps and sets for eternity right we want to progressively get better at those things but how do you load that and what does that look like in application there's a million different ways um, the simplest is I do waves of volume so Say uh, we're doing 135 on the bench press, and that's a nice RPE eight at like five reps, right? So a three-week wave would be uh, every Monday we bench because we got to, 
and it's three sets of five at 185. Following Monday would be four sets of five, 185. Following week would be five sets of 185. Then rinse and repeat. Then we'd go three sets of five at 190. Four sets of five at 190. Five sets of five at 190, et cetera. And you can do that at any rep range. So if we're doing benching twice a week, you got fives there, and maybe you got threes on the other, the threes would be the same. Three sets of three at 215. Three, uh, four sets of three, 215. Five sets of five, 215. Switch. Three sets of three at 220. So you're just kind of staggering these things up. That's one easy strength progression with the wave. Now, the stronger you get, the more you train, the more complicated we got to do these things. And that's where you have like top sets of singles, doubles, triples, maybe even fives with back downs. So we handle those higher intensities because the stronger you get, you can't maintain the same, right? So a basic five by five is at like 80%. But if you're more advanced, you're Bob or Atwood or some of these Russ, some of these freaks out there, they can't handle five by five at 80% because their strength output is just too hot. It'll tire them out. So you gotta get a little sneaky with how you program. I don't know. It's not moving. It's not moving? Oh, it starts to take pics, although I hate it. Because uh, I am looking leaner. Like, abs are slowly back, but... I didn't weigh this morning, but last night I was about 212. And that's kind of what I've been every night. Um, end of the day meal. I go to bed at like 7. So I weigh myself at 6, and I eat at 530. So I'm like heavy, you know, because it's early in the night. But um, I definitely am leaner. And the cardio feels good. I've been going pretty hard. I've been trying to get 200 cows on the elliptical as fast as I can. So I started at like 18 minutes and 16. Now we're about 15 minutes moving pretty good. So progress is being made. And my diet's locked in. It's not like I'm eating trash. Got a little headache. I need some food. So, a um, couple rounds of this, probably just one more round. I'm gonna hit the cardio. And I got a couple more meetings. So, I'm gonna go home. Air fry your sausage. Air fry your sausage. That's the advice of the day. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, new videos, man. I think we're trying to pump out three a week. So stay tuned, turn on notifications. Be sure to share this thing out. Twitter, Instagram, I'll repost you, show the love back. Discord, good company, discord.com. Shorts, crew necks, tees, all available right now through SB.co. I appreciate you guys for sticking around this long. Sell the mic, catch you in the next one, we're out.